Hello everyone and welcome to my very first Q&A. So I'm really excited about this and I'm going to kind of just jump right into it for the sake of the length of this video. Um, so I've taken questions from my photo that I put on my Instagram, the Q&A picture itself, and then I also got some separate DMs from that post. So I took all those and I put them in my notes so it would be easier. But yeah, I'm just going to jump right into it and I'm going to try to make these answers as concise and blunt as possible for, again, the sake of the length of this video because I talk so much and I just don't want it to be super long because that also makes editing a pain in the butt. Yeah, so. Okay, the first question I got is, did you bulk up at first and then lose the fat after or was it an immediate lean muscle appearance after starting your workout routine? Okay. Did I bulk up at first? No. This is kind of a difficult question to answer because of my past with eating disorders and my weight kind of yo-yoing back and forth. But I would say I would consider myself, quote, healthy or the best version of myself for probably my, my last transformation post was like five months ago. So I mean, I guess for five months. So in that span of five months, no, I did not bulk. I simply just cleaned up my diet, like whipped my butt into shape, realized what I wanted for my body and for myself mentally. So no, I did not bulk up. I just kind of started with my workout routine and my diet, not a diet, but just like my diet, how I eat. And that is just kind of, I mean, that's how I got to where I am today. So yes, I did not, or no, I did not bulk up first, as they said, or was it an, an immediate lean muscle appearance after starting your workout routine? I guess yes, because I didn't bulk, so sh yes, but I mean, obviously with time. Okay, next question. Are your eyelashes fake? If not, what mascara do you use? And I kind of skimmed these over before because some of them I need like props for, I guess, to, like answer the questions. Um, no, these are my real eyelashes. And for the mascara right now, I kind of try out different ones. I really like the telescope, telescopic one. I used to use that. But right now I'm using CoverGirl Exact Eye Lights and it's for brown eyes, obviously, because my eyes are brown. So yes. Are you vegan? No. Um, but I would say 90% of my meals are vegan, plant-based. My diet is plant-based, based because I do include um, eggs and egg whites and fish into my diet, I would say one to three times a week maybe. So no, I'm not a vegan, but that's definitely something I can see myself pursuing in the future. Yeah, I'll end that there. Um, do you track macros slash calories or do you take an intuitive approach to eating? Intuitive approach, no, I do not track calories or macros. What are your thoughts on a vegan lifestyle? Kind of touching with the other one, um, I'm all for a vegan lifestyle. I think that is so great and I totally support not just vegans but anyone with their dietary lifestyle, like if they're paleo, um, I don't know, I can't think right now of all the other ones, but a vegan lifestyle, I am like all for it. Why I'm not really full vegan right now is just because I feel like it's not ideal for me in this time in my life. I know some people might argue with that and I agree that it is very easy to be a vegan. I think there's a lot of controversy with like, it's so hard eating like a vegan. And I disagree, I think it is really easy, but just like for me, I do enjoy my fish and eggs every once in a while, and I am willing to give that up, but not yet, if that makes sense. But, what was the question? What are your thoughts on vegan? Yes, I totally support a vegan diet, I love it, and I'm definitely plant-based vegan like 90% of the time, so I do support a vegan lifestyle. Who's your role model? Um, honestly, I thought a lot about this question and I was trying not to keep it too basic with this one but I think I'm going to have to go with my mom and I know that is a pretty stereotypical answer but she is my role model for sure like the stuff that she's been through and the amount of things that she's done for me and like the crap I've put her through I mean for sure she's my role model 
Are you religious? Okay, this question I will answer simply by saying I love Jesus. So take that however you want. Okay, how many calories do you eat a day and what do your macros look like typically? I have no idea how many calories I eat a day and I don't track macros or calories, so I don't know. If people become more interested in wanting to know how many calories I eat a day, I guess I could just pick a day and track them for people to see if you guys would be interested in that. I don't know. If you would be, comment that below. Um, I mean, I would assume it's a pretty high number because I do eat a lot, as you guys can see on my what I eat in a day vlogs, but yeah. Okay, where do you do most of your grocery shopping? Honestly, this varies a lot. I don't really have one specific grocery store that I go to. Typically, I can find everything I need at HEB, but some stuff I can only find at Trader Joe's or Whole Foods. So it just kind of depends what I'm out of at the moment. Sometimes my grocery hauls, like the ones on my YouTube, have been at Trader Joe's just because the stuff that I've been running out of only Trader Joe's has. Or Whole Foods, obviously, Trader Joe's is just cheaper. Um, H-E-B I can usually find a lot of my food, um, even Walmart if I'm just getting like fruits and vegetables, Walmart is really good because it's cheap. Next question, what is your ultimate goal with your YouTube channel? Um, my ultimate goal, I think honestly, I just want to be real and raw and honest with the people who watch my videos. I don't want to be fake with you guys or pretend I'm happy if I'm sad you know what if that makes sense I just want to be able to share with you guys like my life and feel comfortable with that and be able to reach out to people and inspire and give advice to people who are going through what I've gone through in the past or just make friends honestly I mean I love meeting new people and I love all of you guys comments on my YouTube videos and my Instagram like it's insane how much it makes my day and it just absolutely puts the biggest smile on my face so I think my goal with YouTube is to inspire and be real with everyone if that even is a goal I guess to inspire that's a goal to inspire others to help others I guess you could say how do you get your abs this question does get asked a lot and there is and there isn't a direct answer to it I would say the three key things to getting abs diet sleep exercise and main one not the main one but I mean abs are really made in the kitchen and I know that sounds so cliche and like annoying whatever but it's true I mean what you eat you will wear on your body so yeah abs are made in the kitchen make sure you're getting enough sleep definitely for me I need at least eight to nine hours and then exercise exercise is not as important as diet because you can just work out a few days a week and still see amazing results if you're eating clean but yeah just those three things with consistency and give it time because it does take time to see results and you just have to be patient with your body and let it do its thing okay are the workouts you post the only workouts of your day or do you complete it with something else those are the only workouts of the day that I do I don't do any other workouts with those um, yeah do you do hit six days a week and how much time does your workouts last um, hit I mean if you sometimes I do hit workouts that I get from like other Instagrammers that I follow like fitness Instagram people famous people but I my workouts I don't really plan like on this day I'm gonna do this on this day I'm gonna do this I just wake up and whatever I'm feeling sometimes I am feeling doing like a hit workout so I'll do that a lot of my workouts like you guys know are plyometric based and which is just like me using my body weight for everything push-ups burpees squat jumps switch lunges all of that so those are typically what my workouts look like I do sometimes I'll use the resistance band if I want to build resistance so do I do hit six days a week I guess like maybe sometimes I don't know if I'm feeling hit six days a week sure I'll do it but I don't think I've never really done hit six days a week like planned out if that makes sense I hope I'm making sense to you guys I feel like I'm not and I feel like I'm just saying random words and side note I really suck at putting my thoughts into words as you guys can probably tell and I have a lot of fillers in my sentences like 
um, and like. So I really apologize for that. Um, there it goes. What camera do you use? So I brought it right here. It is, okay, and this might be, I might be really dumb. I don't even know. Nikon D90. Yeah, I don't know if you guys want to look at that. I don't know, but that's it. Or here's what it says. It's that. So, however, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure people who are camera savvy would definitely be able to tell, but I'm not really sure. That was actually, I didn't buy that camera myself. Like that's kind of like our family camera and I am planning on buying a new camera sometime, but it'll be an investment. So not sometime soon, but someday. How long did it take you to see results? And did you start the style of eating you do now right away to tone up or did you slowly have to get into it? How long did it take you to see results? Um, first of all, everybody's different. Some people it may take a month. Some people it may take five months. Uh, for me, I would say it took about maybe one to three months to start seeing actual results. So, yeah. Did you start the style of eating you do now right away to tone up? Um, no. I've been through plenty of styles of eating, crazy roller coaster styles of eating, but the style of eating I do now, I've been doing for five ish months, and I absolutely am 100% in love with it, and it is the best. Okay, for me, for my body, it's the best. Other people, everybody's different. Okay, wait, there's another part to that question. Did you slowly have to get, did you slowly have to get into it? Did I slowly have to get into my style of eating? Um, yes and no. I mean, it was just a bunch of trial and error, like I always say. So, yeah. Uh, do you do a specific ab workout every day or just include it in your HIIT workouts? Um, I don't really target just my abs. I don't have like an ab day or anything. But my, the workouts that I do, like the style of training that I do, does require a lot of upper body and core strength. So I think that helps a lot because during those workouts I have to have my core activated or else I mean, I'll just like fall over or something. But um, if I'm feeling like I want to direct um, an exercise to my core, then maybe during one of my, I guess, hit or plyometric workouts, I will incorporate one or two ab directed exercises. like one of the ones that I posted in my um, ab burnout, like, or I'll do that at the end of a workout if I feel like it. Um, what do you think about a cheat day? Is it good or not so good? And are you doing cheat days? And when, and if yes, how often? No, I don't do like a cheat day. I don't plan a day and call it a cheat day. I think what I for me I listen to my body like you guys know and if I'm craving a treat then I will eat it without guilt um, honestly though I don't crave quote unquote junk food and that did come with time and consistency of a healthy whole foods plant-based diet but I promise you I didn't think it could happen but if it can happen to me it can happen to any of you you will stop craving junk food with time it'll happen i i'm telling you like i used to crave donuts and cookies and like all these junky fatty foods that's all i wanted and now i literally want like raw vegan desserts raw vegan dark chocolate uh fruit i mean those are like my i guess my treats would be like vegan desserts except they're healthy so i mean i guess kind of a treat kind of not but like dark chocolate you guys see I eat that so much I'm absolutely obsessed um so no I don't have a cheat day I I don't know if I support I mean I don't like not support them but I think that's more of a personal preference if you want if you feel like that's a good balance for you then yes by all means go for it for me my balance is listening to my body and giving it what it wants and with time, it stopped craving those junky foods, and I now crave, I mean, I guess now if I did crave like a donut or something, then I would allow myself that. But I don't, so whenever I am craving something sweet, if it's a quote, 
dessert. I don't know why I'm saying quote so much, sorry. Then I'll eat it. So yeah, I just listen to my body and allow it, those cravings. Are you a health slash fitness coach? I'm not, but that would be really cool and that kind of sounds like a dream, dream job for me. Um, do you split your muscle groups? This is the last question, by the way. Do I split my muscle groups? No, I just train. Usually a lot of my workouts are full body based or if I want to target, I guess, a certain muscle area, I'll split it into upper and lower. And But yeah, so it's either, I guess, upper body based, lower body based, full body. So one of the one of the three okay that is all my questions and I hope you guys like this video I hope it was interesting uh yeah I don't have anything else to say I don't think I feel like I do though hmm um yeah I'm going to college in three days so I just wanted to say bear with me on my Instagram and my YouTube channel just because I don't know how if I can be posting as often, obviously, I will try my best to keep up with this, but school comes first, and it's going to be a huge adjustment adjustment for me because I'm starting my first year in college, so that's a little bit of a change. Uh, so, yeah, just bear with me on it, please, and I will try my best to keep up with it. I obviously will still post things, but just don't expect my meals to be as extravagant and gourmet as they look now because I'll be living in a dorm so they're probably gonna be a little bit rough. Also with that being said I am excited to see how my life is in a dorm and with my the lifestyle that I live so I think that that'll be good for my YouTube and Instagram because it may be helpful for other kids that are in college and wanting some tips and healthy recipes and just some easy things to make as a college student and maybe like I could do a video on how to eat healthy on a budget so we'll see but yeah just I'll get I'll get adjusted and I will try to keep up with this as best as possible but yeah I'm just mumbling now and repeating myself so sorry about that but thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel and if you liked it give it a thumbs up and yes once again, if there are any other requests for a video or Instagram post or anything like that, please comment below or inbox me on Instagram, message me. Alright, bye guys. Thank you for watching.